everyone, how are you all today? So today I am carrying on with my build challenge series, which is turning really small houses into a million pounds. So I've done micro home, tiny home, and today we are doing the small home. What do I want to build? Honestly, this takes me like a good solid 10 minutes to pick. So we are in Doll Cell Valley because this is a really expensive lot which automatically helps with the price of this lot. So it's currently worth, whoa that is actually a lot of money. Okay so I'm actually going to do something different and I'm going to try and turn this into a modern house. Now if you've been watching me for a while you know I'm not great at modern houses. So when I think of modern I think of like a lot of black and white and loads of glass. So I'm going to put these pillars around the outside. Just add move objects as like a standard thing because I swear does anyone play without it okay this is already so different than what i'm used to but you know what i kind of like it it's modern isn't it yeah okay so so far this is what i've got for the front of the house i've added these little boxes throughout the entire house i sized them up to do this bit and i think it looks really nice and i still think it looks modern how is it still worth thirty thousand? yeah i think honestly last time i did this i had to keep going backwards and forwards between going to manage worlds and stuff so i think we're just gonna have to keep doing that okay so here is basically my layout so we're gonna have living room over here kitchen this is gonna be like a huge dining room and this is gonna be like an open office slash the landing to upstairs got the toilet here and then a bedroom upstairs so yeah very small now i'm pretty sure we actually do have modern fireplaces because if you didn't know i absolutely fucking love fireplaces they're so nice and i never really use these modernish ones i could use these sectionals i'm not the biggest fan of these i won't lie i prefer these ones compared to the ones with all the texture on i am definitely doing this wrong right. and the whole swatch thing is like a major glitch which threw my head in because these are all the same swatches but the, they look different it's not just me a lot of people have said this this is actually really cute i love it oh you know what i'm really happy with that i think that looks lush that's one thing i guess is with the whole modern thing it's quite clean and minimal so i'm not gonna add too much clutter for the little hallway here i am literally obsessed with this from paranormal it's so lush oh i i really do use this a lot I'm not going to stop using it, I'm just telling you I use it a lot. I am aware of my actions. I'm actually kind of obsessed with shoe clutter from the Dream Home Decorator Pack. It's just so nice. Because I'm sick of the floppy boot from the other bloody one. These are just so cute. Oh my god, I'm trying so hard not to clutter, but it's so hard. Do you know one thing I never give my sims is a fire alarm? Which, you know, I should really start putting in. But then they just rely on the firemen coming to, you know, help them. When in reality, if you leave them to it, they become more independent. Do they though or do I just like torturing my sims? Maybe. I think I'm gonna leave it like that, you know? Just very minimal, but cute. I even gave them a bloody heater. How nice am I? Okay, so over here is going to be our kitchen. And then in the conservatory type thing is going to be our dining room. So we can actually have quite a big kitchen. I mean, I say this, what should we do a tidy kitchen? I haven't actually used these ones for dream home decorator yet, but we could use them in this one. Me puts floor to length windows in. Also me, let's cover them with tiles. Look, it even says modern in it. Oh. I'm smashing this modern look. Well, does anyone actually start the build and then they change everything about it so they can fit everything in? That is me always. I don't think I can ever just do a layout and leave it as it is. It's a real issue. Oh, fuck. When I'm going to put the fridge. Hmm. The fridge literally ruins my builds sometimes, you know? Because I'm like, where can I put you? I don't know. At this point, I haven't even checked how much this house is worth because I know when we're near it because it takes forever to get there. It still says 30,000. Okay, this is glitching like book. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to change this again. Oh, get rid of you, you're too big. That looks better, doesn't it? So we could be cool and we could have this over here and then the oven there. I don't really understand why the oven has to go in the cabinet. Is that just a thing? I'll even put one of those things at the top. What do you call it? One of these hood. Why are they so big? Bloody hell, maybe you're not getting one. I guess modern people do have all, you know, the fancy things. So we'll give them a dishwasher we'll give them a coffee machine yeah that's that's fancy isn't it oh 150 thank you so i'll get this many up oh we need like the tablet thing that can sit on there sometimes i really hate opening debug because you can't find anything because you've got so many items going on and there is my very modern kitchen if i do say so myself i did have to move all that about so everything would fit in a bit better but yeah i think it's super cute okay let's do let's just get the hallway over and done with i don't even know what i'm gonna put in here now nah, let's do the living room wait i've done the living room dining room dining room we're doing the dining room 
And I know there's only one person going to be living in here, but you bet I'm going to give them the biggest table we can find. Oh, bloody hell, I thought that was sitting on the table. <laughs> that does not look good. Oh, life of a lily. Cute. I don't know what else I can put in here. Where's that big plant I was using earlier? You can make a comeback. Oh, they need like a fancy chandelier, don't they? I always forget about the lights. Beautiful. Right, now let's actually do the office. Expensive desk. A grand for a desk. Oh my god, but it's kind of ugly. How much are you? You're kind of weird as well. Is the whole thing glass or does the chair... Wait, wait. Oh no, it is glass. Okay, I was thinking, if you have to go right up there, where's your laptop gonna go? Because I don't really want to move this door. Right, I'm gonna have to move this door again, aren't I? Right, you go there. You go there. Right, now if everyone can stay in their places, that'd be great. So we definitely need the most expensive computer. And how much are you? Ten? thousand oh my god i feel like you need to use that fancy painting but it's not really going with the vibe but it is eight thousand right downstairs is officially done i'm gonna go off to manage world and see if i can come back and fix fix this glitch okay after all the glitch in is slotted we are at a hundred thousand simoleons so we're not even halfway or anywhere near but let's go upstairs and do the bedroom which is going to be tiny has anyone started watching the new Loki program on Disney Plus? What a beautiful man Tom Hiddleston is. Oh my God, he's so lush. Right, what is the most expensive single bed? 8,000 for this. Oh, it doesn't really go with the style though. Could I fit a double bed in here? Do you know this sleeping pod thing floats when they sleep in it? Should we go for a bit of color maybe? I'm gonna end up moving the door again, aren't I? I can get this huge bloody table. Why are the bedside tables so big? Ooh, they're pretty. Okay, we actually will add some lights in here because they're cute. And uh, what's the most expensive wardrobe? I can't, right, I can't get over that base game. Of all the packs, we've got the most expensive wardrobe. Ugly, I don't want it. Could go for the new one actually. Ooh, I haven't seen this before. I like that. Then we'll shove another telly in. Why not? She has the money. Ooh, this console comes in some cool colours. I regret putting these flower pots on now because it just doesn't want to work with my camera. And then in the corner here, we could add some musical objects because violins in this are actually so expensive. Where are they? I swear every time I do this challenge, I've always put these violins in because they add, they help so much, like 15,000. That's pretty. Oh my god, I never oh, have I never seen these swatches. Honestly, because this is like the actual swatch you see in the catalog. But when you go through it, there's so many cute ones. Oh, that's lush. I'm having that. Okay, this is my bedroom done. I have kept it quite minimal again, and I've kind of gone for a bit more colour in here. Let's do the bathroom next. Okay, expensive showers. How much are you? 2,100. What about baths? The bath's more expensive. 12 grand. Okay, we're gonna have the bath. I should really start caring more about designing my bathrooms, but I just find it so boring because like you always have to fit the same thing in there and I don't think that they change often or maybe I. Maybe I'm the issue, probably. Okay, there's my bathroom. Not much else to fit in there. I guess I could fit something in the hallway, actually. We could give her another hobby to do. Okay, there's my little hallway done. And it is a little bit squish. I'm just going to have to put maybe a swimming pool in, some activities. Because otherwise we're going to get nowhere near this million pound mark. We're definitely going to need to put some knights in as well. Because they add loads of money. Why have I never sized up these hedges before? I feel like this is literally a part of your house as well, this bit, so I wish we could edit that. I'm debating whether if I do a box like that, but then if I get rid of that, then I'm pretty sure that doesn't class as a house. I'm so confused because apparently I've gone over four tiles. Um, I don't, right, I think it's glitching. I'm gonna get rid of it. It's definitely not. It was fine before I put this down. Anyway, not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet, so let's just go back to the swimming pool. Okay. It might look a bit weird at the moment, but give me a minute because I think once I add flowers and chairs and barbecue, it's going to look real cute. She says, hopefully. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. So the swimming pool is 
gotten a bit bigger with the area and then over here I'm gonna put loads of flowers down here I'm gonna have a pond as well with more flowers and then here the pergola thing wasn't doing it for me so I think I'm gonna go actually find the one that comes with the game and then put like a hot tub maybe the barbecue in there and then we'll see where we're at with the money doesn't that kind of look like a little man I kind of like the idea of having here like a secret cozy bit you know when you can come when you want to read a book and get away from I was gonna say a family but it's one bedroom house Okay, that took me way longer than I care to admit, but it looks so cute. Not even halfway. Not even halfway. Are you kidding me with all this stuff? Right, the knights are gonna have to make an appearance. I swear, every time I've done these challenges, the knights just have to come in. We have to have an army guarding the million pound house. Okay, for this bit, I want a really cute barbecue area. I always debate how to like put these. Like, do I put a picnic table? Do I just put like an literal outside dining table? <gasps> we can have this really expensive bin that's so overly priced. Oh, there's only one shade of it. Oh, that's annoying. And then we can also have a bar because I mean, we got plenty of room. Oh my God, I love it. It's just so cute. I just want to be here chilling with the fountain the hot tub and the drinks oh right let's see where we're at now you know what i can't remember last time i saved this bloody hell don't want to lose this i think i would actually cry we're only just halfway i've been filming this for nearly three hours and you're telling me i'm just halfway right the nights are coming out i'm not even gonna lie i went a bit mental with the nights because i've been filming for three hours and i wasn't even halfway with the money so nights are all hidden in there but we've got just under two hundred thousand now and i want to finish this bit off here and i'm hoping that'll bring it around because i can't be here for another hour like, i love doing these challenges i do they're so much fun but sometimes it just they take a long time. My bum's going a bit numb. I might add a couple of these in. They actually look really pretty. We are so close now. We've only got just under 50, nearly 50,000. Okay, what can I put in here? I need like the VIP bucket. Oh, you've got to unlock it. I haven't got time for this. Should I put a few more knights in? Okay, I'll put some more flowers in first and then I'll put some knights in. Right, I genuinely, I don't know what else I can put in here. Just a few more nights. Look, he can stand guard while she's in the bush. You know, safety. While woohooing. In the water bucket, yeah. <gasps> Wait, have we done it? Have we done it? I've got to go back on and off this because it glitches so much. Have we done it? Fence is killing me. Fuck, no. Oh. Damn it. Okay. More nights, more nights. Can't afford the nice whoops. Can't fucking spell either. Oh my god, there is so much going on. My computer cannot handle this. Right, surely now, have I done it? Yes, we did it. Yes. One million. But what do you think of this video? Honestly, I think the house is so cute. I love the way I added the greenery around it. I love it. But give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one soon. Bye.